Good morning, and welcome to another morning devotion. So grateful that you've joined me again this morning. This is the last in October 2020. Wow, would you believe it? God has been faithful, and we give God thanks for His keeping power. Despite the challenges that we are faced with, God is still with us, and we ought to give Him praise, honor, and glory. So grateful to God for allowing us to learn more about our fathers of the faith during this month. My prayer is that we will continue learning about the heroes of the faith so that we may continue in the way of the Lord with expectation and anticipation of His coming, purifying ourselves with the Word, even as He Jehovah is pure. So as we close this month, we want to remind us that faith in God is to sustain our spiritual man and not necessarily our physical. Our physical man is destined back to the earth from whence it came. Even our faith cannot stop physical death. It is appointed unto man once to die, but after death, the judgment. So death is inevitable. And that is why we need faith in Jehovah God, so that we may be prepared for this predictable experience. And as we learn from the author of Hebrews chapter 11, the fathers of the faith, the heroes of the faith, they all died, Apathonisco, in faith, believing. Our meditation today comes from the book of Hebrews 11, verse 13 through 16. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them and greeted them from afar, and having confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims in the earth. For they that say such things make it manifest that they are seeking after a country of their own. And if indeed they are being mindful of that country from which they went out, they would have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better country that is a heavenly wherefore God not ashamed of them to be called their God for he had prepared for them a city the word of God to the people of God so as we close this week this month of October 2020 we want to be assured that faith in God is most important for living now. It is God's word living and working through us that will please God. I pray that this is our goal every waking day, that we might please God. And if we take the example, God will not be ashamed of us and he will call us his God. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the fathers of the faith, the heroes of the faith. Thank you for what they've taught us in the book of Hebrews to encourage us not to give up, but not to give in despite the challenges that we face. That as we think about them, as we meditate, as we allow your word to penetrate and go through our lives, we will be clean, cleansed, with the hope like they have to obtain the great reward that you give to those who are faithful to the very end. And so we pray for those who lead the nation, including our prime minister, all of parliament, those who make decisions. We pray that we will have faith in God. We thank you for those who lead in the medical profession. Likewise, science is great, but God is greater. 
And we're thinking that you are the solution to this world's pollution. And so we give you praise as we seek after you. Thank you for the body of Christ, that we will continue to love and to share and to be an example of the believing word and conversation and indeed loving one another. For this will all men know that we are your disciples and we have loved one to another. And so we give you praise today for your power to forgive us, cleanse us, and to heal us. And we thank you for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Let your will be done, let your kingdom come. We ask this in Jesus' name and for our sake. Amen. 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 Let us go out to please God today, remembering we need faith in God today so that we may live forever in the future with God. Have a great day.